I'm Ashton Addison from EventChange.io for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. Today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Dr. Peter Gann from Smart Mesh. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you, Ashton. So, could you please tell us what is the Smart Mesh project and how is it making a difference in the world? Yes, so the Smart Mesh project is all about partnering with other companies and also with everyday people in order to bring about a sustainable infrastructure for all peoples. The statistics for the number of people without access to affordable internet and banking services, electricity and water is, is staggering. Um, but I just want to first tell a story uh, before I get into the statistics because statistics are just, I mean, the numbers are just too huge. So a couple of years ago, I was in Peru and we went on a tourist, basically a, a tour group. And we saw all of the sites, you know, Machu Picchu and so on. Um, but we also visited a, a school in the rural areas. And the rural areas, it, this was a new elementary school, which was supposed to be, you know, state of the art. It's basically the, the best school uh, that was there. And I expected to see computers, you know, um, and, you know, nice desks, books, and so on. Um, but what I actually saw was just a blackboard, you know, a few chairs, a small room where hundreds of kids, uh, you know, elementary students were going uh, to, you know, for school and they had to walk one to two hours to get there. Um, wow. And so these kids, they had no internet, right? And just think about how, you know, the gap between the, what we have in, in developed countries versus what they're having and what they're dealing with in terms of, you know, the inequalities that exist. Uh, globally, four billion people do not have access to internet. So that was just one example. Uh, also in terms of um, financial services, there is a, um, so in Peru, the unemployment rate is officially just, you know, in the single digits, so it's not very high, but unofficially about a quarter of the people are basically unemployed. I mean, they, they basically have their own um, companies. They're not really companies, but they're, they're basically their own business. I mean, they're yeah. um, entrepreneurs. They make things, they make crafts, they you know, cook foods, and then they sell them anywhere they can. So it's, they don't pay taxes. They're, they don't have a bank. Um, and th for various reasons, they don't have a bank. Um, if they make any money, then they just spend it immediately because they're afraid that they're going to get robbed. Um, and so in globally, 2 billion people, <clears throat> 2 billion people do not have access to um, banking services, uh, which, which is a staggering number. Um, there's also a billion people without access to electricity and about 700 million without access to clean water. Um, so these are staggering numbers. Uh, Smart Mesh is partnering with other companies to help with in terms of fintech, in terms of communications, in terms of internet services. And I'll explain more about that uh, later in terms of how we plan to help uh, people and, and also partner with the people, not only um, that we're providing a solution for them, but they're help, helping us as well um, to promote, uh, to basically to bring about this infrastructure. That's great to hear. I know the internet problem is a major uh, problem you know, worldwide, but to hear that Smart Mesh is actually reaching out for those other essential services that p many people need before they can even think about getting access to internet is just, uh, it's very astounding to hear. So that's great, Peter. So how long have you been involved in the Smart Mesh project? So I started working with Smart Mesh um, and also this Mesh Box. So I'm, I'm basically um, with both companies and I've been with them since the beginning of this year. Um, but uh, Henry Wong, the, the CEO, of a smart mesh. I've known him for 15 years. Um, we went to college together. We actually were in a startup. Uh, after college, we were in a startup together, um, making system on chips for telecom, for switch fabrics, for um, you know routers, internet routers. And so I've, I've known Henry for a long time, um, and we're, I'm happy to be able to work with him again. That's great to hear. I've, I've spoken with Henry Wong a few times, and he's a very noble man. So. Um, it's great to hear that you've had that such long friendship. So, could you speak a little bit about the Smart Mesh community? I know you guys have a really large community over Asia. Um, do, are you guys planning on expanding out, or what does that look like in your eyes? Yes. Uh, so, Smart Mesh is is uh, you know it's not really about competition. We really want to reach out and we want to work with other uh, companies in the space and also work with people. You know, as I said before. Uh, Smart Mesh, and then I mentioned Meshbox. So Meshbox is, a, is another company which is tightly integrated with Smart Mesh. And they make uh, routers, internet um, routers, which are mesh networks, sorry, mesh routers, 
based on Wi-Fi. And so they provide hardware, uh, smart meshes doing blockchain and also applications on the cell phone. And so we, we partner together. Um, and also we work with um, another company which is doing it. So Meshbox is doing an indoor uh, mesh router. And then we partner with a company based in Chicago in the US, uh, which is making an outdoor version. So the outdoor version has a built-in battery. It has solar panels. Uh, and so it's basically self-sustaining. It can be, you know, it, it runs for, with like 0.3% downtime, you know, throughout the whole year based on certain weather patterns. Uh, so we work with them. We also have a organization called Universal Connectivity and Consensus Organization. And this is where we bring in uh, several companies, which are basically the, the top tier, right? The, the, the very advanced state of the art companies. And they provide solutions such as security, uh, we have a company that's doing quantum uh, encryption, <laughs> uh, also AI. And so uh, we bring in, and also transactive energy is, is another part which helps to address the energy problem, um, the lack of electricity that people have. Uh, so Smart Mesh itself is doing, uh, it's basically has a blockchain called Spectrum. It also has a photon secondary network, which is similar to Lightning or Raiden. And that provides very fast payments we optimize Spectrum and Photon to work on top of Meshbox. So the communications in terms of Wi-Fi routing and mesh routing is, um, is enabled. Basically, it, it also is combined and optimized with our blockchain. So we have the world's first uh, Wi-Fi router, mesh router system with blockchain uh, on top of it. It's very uh, interesting. In of, uh, it's yes. It's also interesting to note that you guys are reaching out into the USA and partnering there to manufacture the indoor routers. So oh, where do you guys, routers. sorry? In the US is outdoor routers. Okay, oh, the outdoor routers, yes. So where do you guys plan on mainly deploying these and where are they needed most in the world? And you guys are based in Asia, but is it North America or Africa? And where are you guys starting? Yes, so uh, we're focused. We're initially focused on Asia because it's just closer to China, which is, you know, where most of our engineers are. Um, so we're looking, for instance, countries like Philippines, Singapore, um, Vietnam, uh, so Southeast Asia. But we also have people. Uh, one of our VPs is in Dublin, in the UK uh, area, and so um, in Ireland, and so we we will have activities in Europe. Um, Many of our UCCO companies, Universal Connectivity and Consensus Organization companies, are in the U.S. About half of them are in the U.S. And so, uh, you know, U.S. is definitely a part of, of our strategy. Uh, we would be integrating the technology of UCCO into the hardware, uh, and then also, and then basically uh, promoting that within, um, you know, within the U.S. and also South America, uh, in terms of Argentina. We have some. We have a, a one of our partner companies is in is in Argentina. Oh, that's great to hear. You're touching South America as well. Yes. So you did mention previously that it's the first uh, router network to include blockchain into it as well. So I'm guessing that you guys also have incorporated cryptocurrency. Maybe you could touch on if you guys have done tokenization and how that benefits the ecosystem. Yes. So Smart Mesh has. Uh, a token called Smart Mesh Token. Currently, it's a Ethereum um, ERC twenty token, but in a couple of weeks, it will be it will become a coin on the Spectrum blockchain. Um, so we'll be uh, be able to trade a coin in any. It will also and Spectrum also supports other ERC twenty tokens, um, but it will use the um, the SMT uh, coin as as the gas. Uh, also, we have another token called the smart mesh token, which is an ERC twenty token, and the mesh token is uh, is for uh, for the mesh box for storage. So if when people buy a mesh box, and, and so this is what's so exciting about the, the mesh box is that it's a it's a grassroots network in which people can buy a mesh box and they can earn tokens. Right? They they buy a mesh box, they connect it to other mesh boxes, you know, from their neighbors, mm -hmm. and then people who uh, use anyone who uses the network for communications, they can earn smart mesh tokens from that. And then also anyone who uses, um, we have a disk drive built in into the, the router as well. Um, so it's we can support up to a terabyte, terabyte um, disk drive. 
And so anyone who uses the, the disk drives within the, the individual routers can also earn mesh tokens. Okay, so we have two tokens. And then our partner UCCO companies, they have their own tokens, uh, which will be also supported. Uh, we will wrap all of this up within an app, uh, architecture called Atmosphere, which is a cross-chain um, architecture, but linking various tokens and various blockchains together. Wow, that sounds really intricate. And I like the sounds of hosting a router and sharing internet. Essentially, you've incentivized uh, people to bring internet to other people and be rewarded for that. Right, yes. And so this is where the partnership comes in, where we partner with everyday people. And the people can become their own ISP. Right? They can run a, an entrepreneurial company, which is basically their own, their own uh, you know, by, by buying a, a mesh box or several mesh boxes and connecting up with their neighbors, they can form an, uh, a network and they can basically earn money and basically uh, go into business for themselves. And this is how they can um, you know, not only access the internet and provide financial services you know, within a community, but then they can also earn, uh, you know, make a living uh, through, through, this, uh, you know, through this activity. That's great to hear. Yes. So you guys have a lot on your plate, it sounds like. What are the plans for the next six months and what you hope to achieve with Smart Mesh? Right, yeah, the next six months, uh, definitely very busy. Um, you know, the first, it's, it's only been about almost a year since we started. Um, so th that's been, you know, it's been crazy. But the next six months, we will have many milestones that we will achieve, including the, the coin. So we, we have a Smart Mesh SMT coin, which will be running on Spectrum, which is our blockchain. Uh, we also have the Photon secondary architecture, which will be, it's optimized to run on the Meshbox network. And so um, we will be able to make micropayments very quickly and scale up to hundreds of thousands, you know, millions of transactions per second. So very high transaction throughput, um, whereas Spectrum is, is like similar, like Ethereum, it, it cannot support very high uh, TPS. Uh, so we will we'll be launching Meshbox and also Meshbox++. So Meshbox is the indoor router, and the Meshbox++ plus plus is, is the outdoor. The++ plus plus is because of uh, Mesh++, plus plus, which is our partner company in the U.S. And so these two will be uh, will optimize these two to work seamlessly together. So we'll have basically indoor and outdoor working seamlessly together, which means that you can go from indoors to outdoors within a very large area. I mean, we can cover kilometers tens of kilometers of area because we can support hundreds of mesh routers. Um, you know, you can buy mesh routers for your house, which support maybe two or three. Um, but in our architecture, we can support uh, hundreds of these. So we can form a very large network and seamless connection between indoor and outdoor. Uh, so that's one aspect. Um, the other one is uh, the e-commerce. So we have a smart mesh app and we have that already. So that will enable uh, micro payments and peer-to-peer -peer payments uh, between users and being routed through the Meshbox network. Uh, also, we're working on um, a version of Plasma, which we call Smart Plasma. And Smart Plasma is a way that Ethereum um, uses to scale to for computations. Right? It, it scales smart contract uh, throughput uh, without burdening the, the main blockchain, which is Spectrum for us. Uh, and, and there's, you know, there's various other uh, works that we're doing uh, with our ECC, UCCO companies. And so you know, that's, that's, that will be announced in the future. Wow. I'm really excited to see the fruition of all of those uh, interesting innovations. So I also saw in the next coming months in October, SmartMesh is speaking at the Blockchain Fair Asia conference. Do events like these help SmartMesh grow the community? And what's the message that you're trying to spread at the conference? Yes, uh, so we've been very active in conferences and, you know, for instance, um, thank you very much for your support and for your, uh, with this, with this um, video here and this interview with FinTech News Network. Uh, we also have, uh, in the past, recently we did a, uh, you know, we participated in a global inclusive conference in Singapore where we launched, uh, you know, the Meshbox, uh, also Philippines and Vietnam uh, recently. So it's, it's been very helpful. We've gotten a great deal of interest um, there are many people, many companies interested in in our uh, in what we have to offer, and so yeah, it's 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 been great so far. That's great to hear. 
Dr. Peter Yan from Smart Mesh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I'd love to know, and the viewers would love to know, where can they find more information and follow the Smart Mesh project? Yes, so um, I see it at the bottom, so www.smartmesh.io. There's also a meshbox.network. And then uh, you can help by, <clears throat> you know, we, we welcome developers to join, or um, <clears throat> we have a GitHub. And so we welcome developers to join and help us out in this endeavor. Uh, also, we have, uh, if anyone wants to invest, we have SMT, which is currently traded on Huobi and Gate.io. Uh, the Mesh token is traded on Fcoin and also hit BTC. Uh, so right now it, it's kind of low. It's a, you know, the, the market's not really good. It's kind of a bear market for uh, <laughs> cryptocurrencies, but now is a really good time to get in, uh, you know, buy low and the value will, will increase in the near future. That's great. Thank you so much, Peter. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. All right. Thank you very much, Ashton. Thanks for your time. Thank you. See you later.